All right, all right. Greetings, fellow patrons. It's still Mr. Shachaya here. And look, what we are looking at now, basically, we are looking at our November. This is going to be our November 2022 paper. This one was from Houting. Let's see in terms of what does this particular section have for us, right? And obviously, we are still looking at our measurement, which is question seven, right? Now, they say the roof of a canvas tent is in the shape of your right pyramid, having a perpendicular height of 0 0.8 meters uh, of what? Of your square base. Now they say the length of one side of the base is three meters, right? Now they want you to calculate the length of AH. So what is it that you are going to do to calculate the length of AH? So now where is going to be our AH if you can check here? So your AH is this particular part, right? If you can just look from here, let me just try and write it nicely there. You see, this is going to be our AH. And now what is it that you are given? Already you are given that this is same as, now remember that uh, since this is going to be a square-like pyramid, so these represent your what? This represent your what? Basically your hypotenuse side, right? This is your AH represent your hypotenuse side if you can look at this because if you can co uh, construct here like this can you see that this is more of your right angle to triangle isn't it so so basically this is going to represent your what this is going to represent your uh your hypotenuse right and now this particular side isn't it that this particular side here uh, is same as this 0 0.8 isn't it so Remember that this one is drawn in 3D, so you cannot see it very nicely. But this particular side here represent what? It's still your 0 0.8 meters. And now, what is it that you are going to have? Now, if you can look at this one. So we know that this particular side here, uh, if you can look at this 3 meters, it's going to be almost the same as this one here. And what do we know? You already know that uh, from here, from this post up until here, basically is the half of GC, right? So which means basically if you can start there, which means now this particular side is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by 1.5 because that is going to be the half, right, of 3 meters, right? And 3 meters, the half of 3 meters is the same as 1.5. So that's what we are going to do. So basically, if you, I can just construct this particular thing here, this is same as your right angle triangle, where this represent your AH, this represent your 0 0.8, and this represent your what? Your 1.5. And when you're doing like that, you realize that for you to get your AH, you must use your theorem of Pythagoras, which is going to be same as 0 0.8 squared, plus what plus 1.5 squared isn't it so you can just make reference here that you are using pyth theorem right and now from there what else now are we going to do we are going to say from here what is going to be our answer if you are adding both of these this is going to give you 2.89 so this is going to be same as a h remember this a is a h squared also so now whenever you are looking for the root of a h squared and the root of this you realize that your a h is indeed going to be given by what? By 1.7 meters, right? This is going to be given by 1.7 meters, isn't it so? Uh, so basically that is going to be that. And now why are we saying this? Remember, we were instructed to round off to one decimal place, right? Uh, now, and then from uh, 6.1.3, uh, they say now calculate what is going to be the surface area of that particular roof, right? Now, uh, for us to get the surface area of the roof, uh, now, what is going to be the roof? Uh, the roof is given by what? Uh, it consists of what? Uh, of your triangular prism, right? So the shape of that particular roof, it's going to be same as your, you know, your what? Uh, your triangular prism. So basically, if you are going to do that, then you are going to use our formula there. And what is going to be our formula? Our formula is going to be firstly uh, given by what? Uh, it's going to be the AH multiply by what this is same as uh, the formula is going to be same as four and uh, multiply by this is one over two and this is going to be same into what is going to be the base there it's going to be given by three and then this is going to multiply by what multiply by 1.7 isn't it so so basically that is going to be uh what we are using there or rather that is going to be uh what that is going to be our a uh, our formula there and remember this formula is the one that represents your what your pyramid isn't it so so that is going to be your formula for your what uh, for your pyramid right so basically that is going to be uh 
the formula for hours and then you are going to punch in there and now from here what is it that you are going to use and now from here we are going to simply plug into your calculator and see in terms of what we are having so if you are plugging into your calculator let's see in terms of what is it that you are going to have uh now this is going to be that and uh, let's see and then when you are plugging into your calculator let's see let's see uh then from here uh, when you're plugging in there, you're going to find the answer, which is same as 10.2 meters squared, right? Because all of this was given in terms of what? Of meters. So this is going to be same as 10.2 meters squared. Are we together? So basically, that is going to be uh, that particular formula. Hopefully, that uh, made sense to you, right? And now, uh, let's see in terms of what else then are we going to have there? Now, uh, the next thing that we are going to be given there, it's going to what? Uh, it is going to be, they say, if the height of the wall of the tent is 2.1 meters, calculate the total uh, amount of the canvas required to make the tent uh, if the floor is excluded, right? So if the floor is excluded, what is it that you are going to do now? Now, uh, if the floor is excluded, now the, we are going to start here. Now we are going to say, firstly, if we are excluding the, the, the floor, this is going to be only what? This is going to be the surface area of only the walls, right? This is going to be the surface area of what? Of walls, right? And now what is going to be uh, the surface area of the walls that you are going to be given? Now, uh, what are going to be these particular walls of ours? So this is going to be same as what? Uh, now the surface area of the walls is going to be firstly four, which is coming from the pyramid. This is same as what? Uh, this is going to be the four. Uh, this is going to be a four multiplied by what? This is going to be multiplied by three, right? This is going to be multiplied by three, which is going to be what? Uh, this particular side. And this is going to be multiplied by what? This is going to multiply by 2.1. Multiply by 2.1. And uh, your total here is going to what? This is four multiplied by 2.1. Then this is going to what? And this is going to be same as 10. Uh, this is going to be same as uh, 25 point, uh, this is 25.2 uh, meters squared, right? So this is only the surface areas of the what? Of the walls, the surface areas of only the walls. And now, if we are now uh, adding this, right? So which means we are saying this is the surface area of the wall. And also this is going to be a what? This is going to be the surface area of the what? Of the roof, which is the pyramid. Remember, this is excluding the what? Uh, the floor. So what is going to be uh, the answer here? So the answer is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as 25.2 M squared plus what? Plus 10.2 M squared. And then the answer that you're going to have, this is going to be same as 35. 35.4 meter squared. Isn't it so? So basically, that is going to be the answer that you are going to find, right? Hopefully, uh, this uh, is going to make sense with you, right? And uh, then this is going to be as far as this particular uh, thing of ours is concerned. Thank you very much.